let's talk about religion. I'm Catholic, a uh, Roman Catholic. I grew up Catholic. Um, my whole family is pretty much. Um, and growing up, I always loved it. And then uh, probably from like eighth grade and even still, uh, I just, there's a, there's a fly in my room. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I just, I grew to read. Do you see it? I bet you saw it. Um, you just kind of grow to resent. I grew to resent religion for a long time and even still a little bit just because it's really forced on me by my parents and it's hard to really, um, believe something and want to subscribe to it with your whole being when you're forced to, you know? I mean, I've gone to church every Sunday of my entire life and, um, I probably missed like 10 Sundays total ever in 20 years. It's just, uh, like, I, I believe, for a long time, I didn't believe. Like, probably about two years, I was just kind of doubting everything, and I didn't believe at all. And I've kind of uh, come to the point in my life where I, I do believe and I'm comfortable with with um, supporting church doctrine for the most part. I just think my my big problem now is, especially since I'm I really like philosophy, um, especially philosophy club at my, at my college. Um, a lot of people assume that just because you're Christ, just cause you're religious, especially American Christians, um, just because you believe in God, you're less intelligent or less rational or less focused on, um, intelligent endeavors, I guess, than others, than atheists. Um, a lot of my atheist friends see it as a weakness to believe in God. And I guess for some people it is because you're not strong enough to be on your own. But um, for me, I don't see it as a weakness. I see it as just another part of who I am, I guess. Uh, and I mean, in reality, even if I wasn't religious, like even if I didn't believe in God, I still wouldn't, I still would believe a lot of the things that I believe, you know, like uh, I don't really support, no, I don't support premarital sex. Um, I don't really like the idea of, no, I don't like the idea of abortion. Uh, you know, like, the, and I also believe in marriage. I mean, I believe in the beauty of commitment. I don't know if I want to get married, but I know that I think it's an amazing thing for two people to stand up in front of God and a whole church of people and say that this is the person that I want to be with for the rest of my life. I want to see them when they're happy. I want to see them when they're sad. I'm, I want to be there for them. I want to share a bathroom with them. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's a beautiful thing. Even and sometimes we forget that. Sometimes we let ourselves think that it doesn't matter. I guess commitment doesn't matter. And I think with religion, that's a big thing too. Is in today's society, commitment doesn't. It just doesn't matter, like, committing yourself to one religion, who cares, you know? Uh, committing yourself to God, who cares, it's not important anymore. Uh, it's more important to be ourselves and be independent. And I think there's just something amazing about submitting yourself to, to a higher power, I guess. And I mean, you can argue with this. It's, this is just my opinion, and I would never force it on anyone else. That's the one thing I get frustrated about is people forcing their religion or beliefs on another person. I would never, I used to be that girl, don't get me wrong. Like when I was younger, I was that girl. Like if you didn't believe in God, I would preach to you every day. But I think it's just part of growing up is learning that you can't change who people are. And you, the thing that drives me nuts about Christians is that they don't, they don't accept you until you're like them. And that's not how I'm going to be ever. I, I can't, I can't live like that. So to me, religion is a part of my life, and if it's a part of your life, great, good for you. Um, even if we don't have the same religion or don't agree on anything, I mean, religion, it, it is what it is. <laughs> That's all I can really say about religion, other than my personal religion. So if you have any questions about my religion, my views, 
or I know a little bit about other religions too because like I said I doubted for a long time and I I searched for other religions so if you have any questions let me know and with that have a good Friday I'm going to a concert and I hope you have a good Friday I already said that goodbye Oh, also, I went garage sailing today, and I got a table and chairs for my apartment, two bookshelves, like, a huge thing of Christmas lights. Like, literally, I had to carry it with two, um, two arms. It was crazy. It was cool. Anyway, 